legitimately cut him off from that. At first, the notion that he might, you know, well, that, that's the same mind of Heavenly Father. He don't like us indulging this. But, we're, but he's watching how the people are so engulfed in the wickedness, it's like almost an unbelievable sight. But really, who he's watching are the ones that he chose. How is it affecting my chosen people, the ones that I actually have as a great for the cluster? You know? How is it, how's it affecting them? Are they about to get, that's why you brought up Enoch, are they about to get affected and tainted also? I gotta cut this off before that happens. Right, you just gotta get done. The moon shall not stand in thy sight. Yeah. Thou made us all workers of the day. You go. Yeah. Yeah. Right. They don't bring that out in the churches. Well, no. <laughs> was, when, when he destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, was that him loving the, right. the, 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 the sinner but hating the sin? Yeah. So he destroyed all of them just for. <laughs> no. He hated them and what they were doing. Right, yeah. That's why he destroyed them. Right. If he loved them, he would have just sent prophets and be like, hey, y'all stop doing this. Man, the same thing. Yeah. He could have allowed the energy, the demon energy, just leave the city or whatever. But he didn't do that. Now he deleted them. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
somebody that already got hate for you. Right. Think she gonna be fair in judgment with you, man? That bitch hate herself. Right. Yes. So how much more yeah, you, you judge? Y'all know that scripture that I seen it the other day. Uh, where it says, uh, I think it's in Sirach, like 13 or something. Where it says, as a, uh, as a rich hated the poor, the ungodly hated the, the just. It's something to that effect. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. So, so that's exactly what you're saying. If she sees you, a real man standing there, and she was still want to be a man, she has a, 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 a hatred, an underlying hatred for her. Mm -hmm. Uh, Salah 13 and yeah, 20. Yeah. It says, as the proud hate humility, yeah. so doth the rich hate uh, afford the poor. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, Proverbs 29 and 27. Uh, let's see. Well, I'm going to translation. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to read the page that it says, an unjust man is an abomination to the just. And he that is upright in the way is an abomination to the wicked. Uh, and that was, uh, I was thinking of the two different ones. Yeah, that's another one. Right. Exactly right. And that's, and that's what, that's what you quoted earlier. Um, um, uh, what you quoted? Oh, when a, when a man turns to righteousness, he makes himself a prey. So that's the same thing. Anytime you come in a righteous energy, the wicked around you, unless the Heavenly Father puts his spirit on them, Look out for you, right? They're gonna, they're gonna naturally have an underlying hatred for you. But they may not show outwardly, but, but in their decision making towards you, they're gonna use that. Right, they are uh, also that other one. They hate hands that have to be in that place. Yeah. You know? They, they hate us because we're out here not spreading our own ideas, our own message. They, don't, they hate us. In reality, they hate the Holocaust on the side. Okay? That's who they hate. They should be ungodly. Yeah. They, they hate the Lord. They hate everything he stands for. They're actually showing. Yeah. Yeah. Wisdom, wisdom of Solomon, too. Yeah. 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 Wisdom of Solomon 14, verse 9. For the ungodly, it is ungodliness, are both alike hateful unto the most high. Yep. Now that was the one that gets direct to, uh, to the pastors. And these pastors, man, I know some of y'all are starting to pick up their pockets. But hey, man, you, you just built the whole ministry and the whole doctrine without your pocket. Right, they're being, now they're being forced to acknowledge uh, the universe uh, more and more pastors are, are bringing out scriptures and saying things that only the Hebrew Israelites were saying. You know, making points. Yeah. Because this this spirit is, is, is consuming. It's, it's taking over the world. This can't be stopped. This life can't be healed. Can't be stopped. Uh, 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 it could be nothing against it to put on the court. Uh, yeah. uh, yeah. yeah. The Most High hates the sinners and will repay vengeance unto the ungodly and keep with them against the mighty day of their punishment. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> So, hey, that's that, that's that's scary because if, if, if you are my enemy and you know you, you're gonna you're continually doing the thing that I hate, but I'm not gonna automatically punish you right then and there. But I'm gonna just let you continue to do what you're doing to to, to, to level up my anger towards you. That's 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 scary than just an automatic judgment. Yes. Going back to what yeah. he's about to read in Peter. See, all that wickedness that was going on during the time of Noah, the most I was allowing it for a certain period of time to happen. Yeah. So they thought that they were safe in their wickedness because the Lord wasn't, he didn't, he didn't bring judgment to them. Uh, the Lord allowed it to build up. Exactly. Like he's doing now with, uh, with Babylon. Yeah. You know? Exactly. 
Yeah. After 10 times, you know, when you see it, two plays, you probably, how do you want me to uh, throw it back to nine, right? Yeah, read nine. Yeah, because it goes right along with what he just read. The Lord hated sinners and he's going to repay vengeance to them. And he's going to basically reserve them until that, that, that final day of judgment to get punished. That's basically what that's saying in uh, Peter. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, I might as well read it in NLT as well. So, so you see, the Lord knows how to rescue godly people from their trials. Like we know we've been tried and refined. Uh, even while keeping the wicked under punishment until the day of final judgment. That's it. That's exactly what right. the brother just read in some right well. And go to it again, I read it again. Right. These are two corresponding scriptures right here. Ecclesiastes 12 and 6. For the most high hated sinners yep. and will repay vengeance unto the ungodly and keepeth them against the mighty day of their punishment. Yeah, see? So that's showing you right there. That these proud ass people that we see today, they seem like they, uh, they're they prospering in their wickedness. A lot, of, a, a lot of people that are extremely wicked are really extremely successful people in, in yeah. this world. The scriptures say, envy not the glory of a sinner, for you know not what his end show. Right. Don't envy none of these niggas that's, that's Billionaires. Man. None of these niggas, none of these Edomites. All these niggas that are making it, and these devils and these heathens, don't envy none of these niggas, man. Because the Lord got them on reserve. Yeah, that's why the scripture also says, you are rich. You have received your consolation. Yeah. Uh, what did they do to get that prize? Yep. Yeah. Because it was ultimately everything that was a birth to the hour by Shadow and Shadow. And that's the only way to be successful in this world. You've got it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Only in an adverse to the to watch in this world will be adverse win in this world. Hey, you also gotta look at the industry that he saw as control. We're talking about a hobby career industry. Hobby career. That's why he ain't completely has his friends upon that. And he chooses where he needs to go. He chooses on how famous he is. He chooses on what you do to actually make something out of it. So many things that you can do to make something out of it. That's his realm, man. That's his realm of control. Entertainment, I mean, uh, Athletes, yeah. also, you know. That's why you see how how easy it is for Jake to be up one day. Next thing you know, he take everything away from that. Yeah. Yep. You still reading? Oh. Uh, Malachi, chapter three, and uh, verse thirteen. It says, "Your words have been stout against me," said the Lord. Yet you say. Why have we spoken so much against thee? You have said it is vain to serve God. And what profit is it that we have kept this ordinance and that we have walked more fleetly before the Lord of hosts? And now we call and the... It, it's like Jay trying to look for self gratification in serving the Lord. Yeah. Why can't you just be want to be righteous? Yeah. We know that these laws the Lord gave to us so that we can live a prosperous life. Right. Yeah. That's the real way of prospering is walking in his uh his statutes. Right. Yeah. These niggas want an instant reward for doing what you're supposed to do. Yeah. You, you're supposed to be you're supposed to love your brother. You're not supposed to steal from your brother. You're supposed to the Lord gave us a, a righteous way to live. N yeah. Like you said, a nigga want a reward for doing what you're supposed to do. And, and it's, it's, when you look at how or an instant reward, like right. You know. Yeah, oh, but when you continually are being the right way with your brother, what is what happens? Now you, your brother and you have a different bond and understanding. Mm -hmm. You don't ever have to side eye it like is he is he a, or maybe he right. may one day. Because both of you are looking for the same thing. And that's more valuable than yeah. money, any status, or any of that shit. Yeah, there you go. They, they they don't wonder see why, niggas wonder why they died earlier than everybody else. Yeah. Everybody else living in today a hundreds. Right. They need all kind of bullshit. They bullshit. Live to 115. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But Jake, you on you on dialysis in, in, in your mid forties. Man. You know what I'm saying? You wonder why. I got a little more.